Now in this next part of the question, what we've got to do is show that the angle TMQ, that's this one in here, is 1.0766 radians given to four decimal places. So how are we going to do this? Well, basically what you've got to realize is that when you have a tangent, which TP is, it's going to make 90 degrees with the radius, so mark that in as 90 degrees. So in order to calculate the angle TMQ, which I'm going to call theta, okay, theta radians, you can denote that by a little c if you like for radians, what I'm going to need to do is use trigonometry for a right angle triangle. I've got this side, TM, which would be the adjacent side, and what I'm going to do is calculate the length of the hypotenuse here, MP. And that will allow me to look at the adjacent side with the hypotenuse, which will be the cosine of this angle. And uh, I should be able to then work out what theta is. So first of all then, I need to work out the length MP. And to do that, what I've got to do is think of a right angle triangle drawn through here and up through here and apply Pythagoras' theorem to find the distance between the two points M and P. Okay, so that's where we start and so by Pythagoras' theorem MP squared, okay, the hypotenuse squared is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two shorter sides so that's going to be this distance squared so that's going to be the difference between the x coordinates 12 take 6 all squared, let's just mark that in as 12 take 6 all squared, plus this distance squared, which is the difference between the y coordinates squared, so 6 take 4 all squared. So we have 12 take 6 all squared is going to be 6 squared, and 6 take 4 all squared is going to be 2 squared. And if you work that out, you've got 36 plus 4, which is 40. So that means that MP, therefore MP, is the square root of 40. So when it comes to finding the cosine now of this angle here, let's just put it over here, we have that the cosine of theta will be equal to the adjacent side, mt, which is 3, over the hypotenuse, mp, which we now know is the square root of 40. So, to get theta, we just need to do the inverse cos of both sides, so it would be the inverse cos of 3 over the square root of 40. And you must remember now to work this out in radians mode on your calculator. Okay, so make sure your calculator is in radians mode. And if you do that, you should find that you get theta to equal 1.076580 and so on. And that means that to four decimal places as requested, theta will be one point. 0766 radians, so mark that in as radians, to four decimal places. And that brings us to the end then of this part of the question.